Moving back a little more, it gets even more interesting. Here we find a two axis gimbal that actually holds the rear of the erector tube in a perfect location while allowing the front to move up, down, left and right. And this is how your rifle scope actually adjusts for elevation and windage. The rear will be held in place and in the front your turrets press against the erector tube and from the opposite direction an erector spring will press back and this allows your erector tube to move very precisely and um, compensate for your shots. The clearance between the erector tube and the body tube is what determines how much elevation and windage travel you will have and that is why generally speaking a larger body tube does mean that you will have more elevation travel. I say generally speaking because the size of the erector tube also has a part to play in this but let's just dispel one myth right away. A bigger body tube does not mean better light transmission or a brighter image. It just means there's more space for the erector tube. It's the erector tube itself that determines the optical performance of your rifle scope. 